on, daddy folks? It's Diecast Buffet here again. Back for race 34 out of 36. NASCAR Thunder 2004 career mode. Here we go. So, um, yeah, terrible day at Atlanta. Um, we got a new sponsor. Goodyear Blimp. Goodyear. Man, I don't want to be sponsored by Goodyear, man. Out oh, come on. I want to be sponsored by Outback. I got to. I got to put I gotta put Outback in the car. We're going to put Outback out back. <laughs> That was cheesy. Um, win front runner. There ain't no way we'll get front runner. I'm gonna put out back on the back of the car. Um, we're gonna keep digging. I could put Aaron's point, Aaron's rent there, but th this is the this is the thing, guys. It's if I put Aaron's there. Aaron wants Aaron's wants a, a package deal. There's no way you can get a package deal. Plus, it changes our number, which goes against our our team, right? Associate. I like Outback. I want to put that on the car, but I want to have a hood sponsor to match that. I don't know if these two cats are going to do that, so I'm going to wait until we get that. Ooh, oh, All Pro. Let's, let's go ahead and put All Pro in the car to give it a new sponsor there. And it uh, looks like UAW pulled the plug, so we're going to open up our brand opportunities. We're going to put Aaron's Rent there, put All Pro in the quarter panel, and then we're going to put Outback. Outback. <laughs> so... We get um, we get a little bit of brand exposure there, right? So now we have three sponsors that could potentially be looking for us after uh, we go to Phoenix. You see what I'm saying? You see there's a little bit of method to the magic there. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. What are we going to do? So let's go. We're building. We need to repair some stuff. God, we need to repair some stuff. Um, take this. Repair it. Love it. Do what you got to do. Okay, got to make love with it. Do it. Uh, engines. Uh, let's see. Um... Speedway. Oh god, man, we gotta get some of this. We we gotta get our short track one fixed up. And the problem is, this ain't gonna be ready. It ain't gonna be ready in time. So we're gonna have to use a different engine, unfortunately, for uh, Rockingham, which is very similar to a one and a half mile. I mean, honestly, you could consider Phoenix a bootleg short track. Uh, we're just preparing some stuff there. So uh, if you're new here, the reason why we're not doing shop editions is because the car is already competitive to win races. It might not look like it, but I mean. Let me just show you. We won the 500. We won the, the Subway 400. We won the Food City 500. Texas, Talladega. We won the All-Star. We won uh, Infineon. We won uh, the, the Southern 500. I mean, we won a lot of races, right? Oh, updated point stands. Let's, let's go check this out. So, uh, Kevin Harvick cuts it down to 118, picking up his third win of 2006. A big one at Atlanta Motor Speedway. But Tony Stewart still... Uh, uh, pine pipe in a way trying to win. We're dropping in points, 725. I mean, uh, I think we'll be in the top 10 of the points by the end of the season. But, man, we got three races to go. We're not going to sign a hood sponsor. We're still unsponsored, uh, technically. But, hey, we got three sponsors looking at us for the 2007 Daytona 500 and the full-time season, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, oh, God, give me the tire grip, man. It's Phoenix. You're going to need tire grip out the wazoo. I would like to use the short track stuff here, but we're not going to be able to. So, I'm going to use the Speedway. I want the horsepower. I want the efficiency. Let's go get Phoenix, man. Let's go get Phoenix. Um, let's see. Downforce. Ooh, that's a good plate body, but i got to save that for Daytona. Let's go ahead and use this. Car rating of 80. Let's go to Arizona. Alrighty, folks. So, we qualify 24th today for the Check Out Our Parts. Checker Auto Parts 500 here at Phoenix. Um, three races to go in 2006. Tony Stewart, Kevin Harvick. Their championship battle gets a little bit more interesting. If Harvick wants to win the title, he's going to probably have to win today. I mean, to be honest with you, he's going to probably have to at least dominate. Anyways, Dale Jr.'s on pole. Let's go ahead and sit it down. Trackside from Arizona. Joe Moore and Barney Hall from the beautiful Arizona desert at the One Mile Phoenix International Raceway for today's Checker Auto Parts 500K. Barney, this is quite a unique track. Tell us about it. Boy, it's beautiful here, right at the base of the Australia Mountains, and this is quite an interesting racetrack. First, it's known as the world's fastest one mile oval. Add to that the fact that each corner is slightly different, and it all adds up to some great racing. Dale Earnhardt Jr. will try for another top five finish in this one. You know, people get so concerned with wins. Me, I'll take consistent top fives all year long over a win. Besides, when you're constantly finishing in the top five, a win is just around the corner. Sterling Marlin was making a run of the championship in 2002 before being sidelined by a neck injury. 
Sterling suffered a neck injury in that race in Kansas, which sidelined him for the rest of the year. He was fifth in points at the time. I'm sure he's ready to make another run at the title this year. The 82 car will try to use this race to gain a couple spots in the points. He's been working hard this season, and it is paying off so far. He'll need a good finish in this one to gain some spots. Alrighty, folks, it's Tony Stewart, Dale Jr. on the front row. Imagine that. Uh, Bob Labonte up there in the top three. Look, Harvick won last week at Atlanta. He closed the gap about 40, 42 points. He's still 118 back. Tony's going for his fifth straight title. We're trying to get a sponsor. We've got three uh, brands looking at our car right now. So uh, we got to find, uh, find a good one for the 500 next year. Here we go. Boogity, 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 boogity. Green flag racing at that Phoenix. And, uh, check out that beautiful Jeremy uh, Mayfield uh, Mount Dew car. Good God, that was a slow start to the race for us. Couldn't just, couldn't just get going there. Ooh, yeah, bad corner. We just got to find our rhythm. Just kind of get into the, the groove of things. Got to get to the inside here. It's Phoenix, you know. It's You want that inside lane. It's just... It, it, it just works, right? It just works. It's like a Fallout 4. It just works, right? Already on lap two, so will Tony Stewart take the helm and dominate in the desert, or will it be Kevin Harvick looking for his first Winston Cup championship? We're at 26 right now. Look, we need to improve. we got to get better, right? Oh, sorry, Biffle. I didn't mean to hit you. So we got Outback. Aaron's in all pro all three of those brands are looking to sponsor our car right now and you know I, I, I want to take up on one of those offers I really do uh, but I want a full package car and believe it or not the Outback car or back sponsor kind of matches our car ironically enough uh, which if Outback was to sponsor our car I promise you we would make an entirely different paint scheme sorry Michael Roger I'll make an entirely different paint scheme if uh, we do get a new sponsor this is just a, a generic you know, Buffet Racing South Car. It's kind of like when uh, Keselowski um, was driving for Penske and Verizon kind of got booted out of the sport. So Penske kind of took up the, the reins and made their logo and everything on the cars. You know, the same spots Verizon was when Sprint got butt hurt. Anyways, uh, up to 20th place, we're actually going forward, not backwards. I like that. Huge run on Jeff Burton here. Oh, man, in the silly season, who's going to retire? Who's going to move up? There's a lot of things that could happen. We could have no one. No one could retire. We don't know. Ooh, sorry, Burton. Hey, man, we got a fast car right now, guys. We got a really fast car. We might not have a sponsor on deck, but I tell you what, man. We got a hot rod right now. I like this race car. I really do. I think we should have qualified better than this. I like this race car. We're just going to door slam the 30 car. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to hit you. Honestly, I didn't mean to, but he, he ain't going to believe that. And I wouldn't blame him, honestly. Trying to get around Jay McMurray in that beautiful 42 car. I don't know why people don't like that paint scheme. I freaking love his rookie car. I love that card so much. I wish they made a, uh, a winter circle non-action or not elite action car, right? Where it's just, you know, like the normal winter circle mold with that 42 paint scheme. Nope, they only made an elite version. Uh, to my knowledge, we just barely dodged Ward Burton there. We almost took the back bumper off that Intrepid. Tires already worn, but we did gain like 10 spots. And we're still digging right now, guys. Up to 12th. One of the fastest race cars on track. Don't worry, we're about to get a top five update. Let's see what's going on up front. Right now, it's Earnhardt, Harvick, and Stewart. Harvick needs to take this race and just run and try to win it, man. That's all he can do. Just try to win the race. If Tony has a has an oopsie, so be it. If not, it's on to Rockingham next week. Trying to get that run on Sterling Marlin here, but yeah, it's... 
I still think Tony's going to get the title, but if Harvick's going to, you know, challenge for it, he's not going to go quiet. You know, he's going to make some noise. There's a little bit of a scratch on Kenseth there. These cats just roll up so much in turns one, I tell you. I mean, we are just boogieing around here. One of the fastest cars on the track right now. Gotta get around Kurt Busch. I mean, our tires are gonna start aging badly, but I made one post qualifying adjustment, really two. I increased our acceleration after qualifying, and I also uh, made the car a little bit looser after qualifying, thinking, hey, if I make the car a little bit looser, I could probably rotate a little bit sharper, right? Uh, it won't hinder our, you know, our corner exit too much. And it appears that that was a, a very helpful, um, adjustment. Sorry, Kurt Busch. Uh, because the car is rotating very well right now. And the car is rotating. Look at the huge run of Jeff Gore. I mean, oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, crap. Sorry, buddy. Got a little bit of that rumble strip, man. I'm thinking it's 2012, Phoenix. We got that rumble strip and all that jazz, and you can really, you know, rim ride it. Or not rumble strip, you know, the dog leg. But that rumble strip, oh, God, it will rock the suspension, man. So we have crawled our way up to 8th. Right now, we are pretty much just Kyle Busch Nationwide Series, series uh, this thing right now. The car is so fast, I can't even control it. Like, that's how fast it is, man. It is just flying around the track. We're scratching walls. We're scratching cars. All right. So it's 31 laps in today. Um, what's the halfway point? It's going to be lap 16, folks. So when do you pit? Do you pit now? Do you wait? I'm pitting with the leaders, whether they like it or not. So hopefully uh, we can uh, figure this out, figure this out, and uh, try to, you know, try to get up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Very worn tires. Very low fuel. I'm trying to figure this out, guys. Uh, lap 14 out of 31. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we're going to get really loose. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Hard in the wall. Phoenix. Crashing. Bashing. Well, we're going to have to pit, and we're going to have no choice but to repair damage at this point. I mean, I don't know. Do we want to repair damage or not? Oh god, we can't we can't afford that. Let's see. So unfortunately, we got Lewis down there back the on the back straightaway. Two seconds, man. We can't give that up. I'd rather go out there and beat and bang. I don't care. We can't give that two seconds up, man. It's just that's just that will kill us, man. We gotta take. We we gotta keep it a normal four tire pit stop, man. We have to. If we're gonna have any shot at winning this race, man, we're gonna have to keep it, keep it four tires, keep it simple, man. Now, we might get one more caution based off the, the, the debris on this car, but it's gonna be so beat up. I mean, the car is so beat up it was invisible for a second. We're gonna have to be extremely careful with the car as well. I mean, this thing is beat up. There's no doubt about it, but it's a fast car, man. If we just Hold on to it. Do a good job, maybe. Oh, 14 second pit stop. I love you guys so much. There we just gained spots on pit road. So luckily, okay, so it looks like to me, we had a really good pit stop there. Some cats did not pit yet. So we might see some green flag pit stops. How cuckoo would that be? That'd be like cuckoo Marlin cuckoo at this point. Um, I don't know who those cats are. So we really got to be careful here. Because we could run over some cars that are pitting. So if we have to sacrifice turns three and four. Yeah, look at that. I mean, just look at these cars, man. They've got comers and goers. you got cats on old tires, cats on new tires. Some drivers... Oh, no, you dirty car. You were a piece of dog poo. Come on, man. Oh, Lord. I'd get around this dirty car before he kills me. He is literally trying to kill me. It is confirmed. Steve Park is trying to kill me. Um, so we got Jay McMurray in front of us. Hopefully these cats don't pit. Number 42, Maybe when them saying some guys stayed out that they already pitted and they didn't go a lap down? Maybe. Maybe? I, I don't know. 
Anyways, I know Tony Stewart is not too happy. It's getting a, a front windshield full of that back end of that interstate bot uh, batteries. I said bot batteries. Interstate batteries. Bonnie Carlo, sorry Kyle Petty there. Uh, he's getting just blocked by his own teammate. And I'm about to give him the old chrome horn if he's in my way. I'm, I, I, I get you're the championship points leader, but doggone it, I gotta get a sponsor. Oh, there's the caution. Go for it. Inside. There we go. There we go. Fight for the inside here. We need the inside groove. Got to work Bobby there. Get to the inside. Oh, it's a single file restart either way. Whew. Okay. So that, that kind of played into our favor. The caution came out. That gave us another restart. Just a simple debris yellow. There we go. All right. Second caution of the day, guys. Here we go. Gonna have minimal amount of laps left. It's only gonna be, oh, uh, actually, no, about six laps to go. Here we go. Can we get that top five? We got a good race car today, guys. We got a good race car. If I can get around that freaking 22, that'd be good. Sorry, Ward Burton. There's Bobby. There's Tony. We're gonna give up some on the restart. Ooh, the 22 just choked up there. And I'm trying. We got a fast race car. We just need the inside groove and we need to be clean. Man. Don't overdrive it. Don't overdrive it. Just give it what the car. Take what the car gives you. Take, take what the track gives you. Try to make a run up there. Your leader right now, Kevin Harvick, knowing Tony Stewart is outside the top five, knowing if he wins this race right now, and the, the race ends now, he's going to gain another 40 points. And that would put. Oh, sorry, Mark Martin. Didn't mean to use you up there. Oh, no, he's pitting. That could end the championship for Kevin Harvick. If he finishes outside the top 30 or top 25, it's a wrap, y'all. It's, it's pretty much a wrap. I want to win this race. I want to. Kurt Busch is out front. I'm going for it, guys. Sorry. I'm going for it. We got a car to win. I need a sponsor. Come on. Come on. Move, Dale. Move. Oh boy, tires are very worn. Sorry, Junior. Kurt Busch is your leader. Is he going to have to pit? Who knows? Kevin Harvick tried to win the race. He needed a caution. Couldn't get it. Oh, is our car going to survive these last few laps? Sorry, Kurt Busch. Underneath for the lead at Phoenix. Man, it's been a rough two, uh, two past races here, man. Not at Phoenix, but here on the Winston Cup. Circuit, and I tell you what, if we could get this win, this would be huge. A caution would end the race. We are your race leader. We have no sponsor on the hood. But I tell you what, man, we brought a hot rod. Caution is out through three and four. Buffet Racing South will go to victory lane and win the Checker Auto Parts 500 at Phoenix. Yes! There we go, guys. There we go. Gosh, is going to come out for, uh, looks like Jeff Gordon's going to have some debris. And that's going to do it from the desert. Buffet Racing South pulls, well, in a, in a way, upset with no spot, sponsor on the hood. Ironically, two hood cautions. <laughs> wow. So we're going to end the race with no sponsor and no hood. Buffet Racing South, Garrett Hodge goes to victory lane at the Checker Auto Parts 500. Huge win for the team. Yes! Tony Stewart's going to gain points on Kevin Harvick. That's pretty much going to end Kevin Harvick's championship hopes. What is this? NASCAR on ESPN talking about Denny Hamlin and Jimmy Johnson in 2010. Wow. What a what an awesome finish. I mean, we've had a caution here. I think it was 2003 when, when, when we raced here. Uh, we had a caution, and that gave us our first top five of our career, right? And a late race caution comes out gives us the win at Phoenix. It's been an up and down season, but this is a very, very welcome thing, and hopefully this gives us that sponsor we need to run for Speed Weeks next February, because I tell you what, man, we need a sponsor for the Daytona 500. We've got three brands looking at us, and now we're going to Victory Lane. Here we go, folks. Going to Victory Lane in the desert. I didn't expect this. I mean, the car was just so fast, man. I tell you, this thing was so fast, and I, I love this paint job. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Just the red and white looks good. 
Uh, I will change it up though if we get a sponsor, but who knows? Either way, another big win of the year. We're going to Rockingham next, which we won back in February. And then we're going to Homestead. And that's it for the 2006 circuit. Next year it's going to be 2007. Drivers retiring, everything. It's going to be exciting, man. Awesome. Great job, team. Whew. Big win. Checker Auto Parts 500 Phoenix International Raceway 2006. That was interesting with Kevin Harvick. He knows he had to win that to keep his championship hopes alive. And uh, as you've seen, he had to pit for fuel. Wow. Big win for Buffet Racing South. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, we only led four laps, and we came home with a win. Uh, Dale Jr. leads 15 laps. Tony doesn't lead a single lap, so he's going to be at 155. Uh, where's good old Kevin Harvick? Oh, boy. And uh, he's going to need a, a pretty big Band-Aid for this, guys. He's going to finish 35th and only have 58 points to show for it, folks. You know what that means. Tony Stewart just gained 100 points on Kevin Harvick. That's going to put it at 210. And as far as I'm concerned, Kevin Harvick has lost the Winston Cup championship, giving Tony Stewart his fifth consecutive Winston Cup champion. Two races to go, Rockingham and Homestead. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. I upload these Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, C. Dixon, what is that? Scott Dixon's bootleg brother. <laughs> Wow. Anyways, folks, I hope you're having a great one. Diecast Buffet from Victory Lane at Phoenix. Signing off.